What is going on guys, Kira here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers The Last Night Voyager Class Hound. Apologies that I am just a little bit late to the party with reviewing this guy. He was actually kind of hard to find, it was harder to find than Megatron. I ended up getting this guy on eBay from a random auction because I just I could not find this guy at the time. And uh, I'm glad I did. He's probably not my favourite of the new Voyagers, but I do like him. He's a lot better than the, uh, the Age of Extinction version. He does have his, uh, his own little flaws but I do think this is a solid representation of the Hound from the movie. In terms of accessories, he does come with quite a few guns and it's just sort of peg in to this little piece here and you can pop that on the back of the vehicle mode and he is kind of like a, um, an anti-air sort of truck. I really dig the way this looks in the vehicle mode. It tabs on really nicely. And for the robot mode, you can pull all these apart and this will go on his back. You can store these uh, weapons in robot mode but you can also pull these apart and he's got some little like uh, mini guns, kind of like little mini handguns which I really dig. So you've got some options with these weapons. You can see this one here, it's like a big plasma rifle. He doesn't come with his big massive gun this time though, which kind of sucks. I really like the uh, the triple barrel mini gun that he has in the movie and on the Age of Extinction toy. I haven't actually, I haven't got the Age of Extinction toy with me, so I haven't actually been able to test whether he can hold the, uh, the mini gun from the Age of Extinction version, but um, that would be very, very cool if he can. On the vehicle mode there, you can see he has got some Decepticon tally symbols, which is pretty neat. The only thing that really kind of bugs me about this guy is he's really not very well painted. I mean, even the wheels, look at that, that's just plain lazy. I mean, come on. I do like the tallies, he's got some blue windows, uh, he's got some nice little lights in the front. He hasn't even got the Mercedes badge painted, that kind of sucks. No paint detailing on any of the lights whatsoever. This is... Pretty poorly painted, I'll give it that. For a quick size comparison, here he is next to the Voyager class Optimus, just so you can see the two together. So there they are. See, Optimus is a little bit longer and a little bit taller. The transformation is pretty straightforward, and the first thing you want to do, as always with these last night figures, is completely throw the instructions away and just watch videos of it because it's much easier. First thing you're going to do, is you're going to come to the top here. In fact, no, you're not. You're going to come to this sort of section here, split that, lift this piece up, and what we can do is split these arms and get these out of the way. That's what I like to do first. Lift this panel up, then we're gonna come around to the sides here of the front of the truck, and we're gonna fold this piece down. Do the same on the side, get this piece out of the way, fold this down. Then we're gonna take the uh, the wheels here, I'm gonna fold these out, take the wheel, fold it around, and then this little wheel here opens up to form his foot. Then this little panel, will fold down here and lock everything into place and there is a leg. And do the same on the other side, fold this out, fold the wheel down, fold out his feet and rotate this down and there are his legs. Now the I think the main gripe with this figure for me at least is the legs. They're pretty crap and he doesn't really stand up very well. You have to really balance him because he's kind of top heavy. Take this piece here, fold this down. This will always end up being down by the way, you just have to fold it up to uh, get it out of the way. I'm gonna come around to the back of the truck here. I'm gonna take these wheels, fold them down like that, and they are meant to fold around, just like so. So once you've got those off the back, you can take the head here, flip it up, and there's his noggin. Take the arms and go ahead and fold them just up like that, and you can rotate them down, flip out his hand, just like that, fold that up, and the little gun shells here will fold around onto his arm there. Do the same on the other side fold out the hand, flip that up, and then, last but not least, push that in, and there is the last night hound in his robot mode. Now this really is a much nicer rendition of the character. The Age of Extinction Voyager class figure was pretty skinny, it was pretty small, and it really didn't suit the look of hound, it just it didn't come across well, and it looked very, very strangely proportioned. This guy is a lot more bulky, um, just, he's, a, he's a fat transformer. He actually he describes himself as that in the movie, so that yeah, there you go. He's a fat transformer. Um, I really do dig the look of this guy though. Again, he isn't very well painted. Well, I, I guess he kind of is, but it's just so bland that it's really not all that great to look at. The head sculpt in there is pretty nicely done now, I will say that. The mouth is kind of off. I wish he kind of had like a molded cigar in there. That would have been pretty badass. The helmet here can actually come off and uh, 
yeah, you can see his little head there. So he's got a little army helmet there. He does actually, I think he throws it at somebody in the movie, in an Age of Extinction. But yeah, the helmet can come off, so that's a nice little feature. If this guy was just a little bit more interesting in terms of the paint detailing, that would be great. I really, really do not like the shade of green. It's just, it's fucking gross. I know it's sort of, you know, it's just a standard military green, but I really think the green from the Age of Extinction version was a lot more appealing. As a result of this, it looks pretty bland, if you ask me. That's not to say the mold's bad, because it is a very good representation of the character. As for the weapons, you can basically do what you want with them. I like to give him the two mini guns. Oh, there we go, he's nearly falling over. Look at that, my reaction time. So you can, yeah, you can give him the mini guns, and then what I tend to do is I tend to take this piece here and sort of clip these on and I'll put these on his back because I think that looks pretty neat if you ask me. So we'll just shove those on there and uh, you can store the, the weapons in the robot mode. So I like that, I kind of dig it. It reminds me of Ironhide from uh, Dark of the Moon where he had the two guns on his back. Kind of dig that. If you don't want them sticking up, you can just fold them down and they will store nicely sort of flush on his back there. So it's definitely up to you as, as to what you want to do. You can take these uh, mini guns as well and you can peg these in there. So if you don't want it to hold any weapons, you can just stick everything on his back. In terms of articulation, don't expect too much from this guy because he is just, he's fat and pudgy and he can't really move very well. So it translates over pretty nice to the toy form. Um, the head is on kind of a ball joint, but it's hindered by his beard there. The arms can rotate 360 degrees right up here at the shoulder, bend at the elbow in two different places, and the wrists are on a swivel, so you can really do what you want with them. Kind of has waist articulation, that's not really due to the transformation, it's due to a little joint here, but it's pretty loose, and it doesn't feel safe to me, I don't know, it just, it feels kind of loose. The legs can rotate forward and back, up and down, they are, again, hindered by a lot of the, uh, the vehicle mode stuff, but you can do it, it can bend at the knee, and the feet here, you can see, uh, you can pivot his little toes there and you can kind of move these in and out so you can sort of pose him in that sort of way. But the, my only like real gripe with these legs is they don't lock in very well, which means these feet like to move and like to rotate. And as a result, this guy is a pain to stand up. He likes to fall over because he is quite top heavy. Other than that, pretty solid range of movement. Now again, just for another quick comparison, here he is next to the Voyager Class Optimus Prime from The Last Night. Now you can see these guys scale pretty well. I think that's about spot on for what they were in the movie. I think Han was just a little bit shorter than Optimus, but he was more bulky and Optimus was just a little bit taller than him. So I think that's about bang on. Now, I really wish I had the Age of Extinction figure on hand to actually show you guys how much of an improvement this guy is on the robot mode. I think I prefer the Age of Extinction vehicle mode a little bit more, but in terms of the actual robot mode, the way this guy is designed, it's a lot more accurate to the movie, and I think it's a pretty good representation of how he's probably the weakest out of all the Voyagers so far, but that's not to say he's bad by any means of the word. But there is Hound, guys. Overall, a pretty decent figure. And I actually would recommend getting him if you can actually try and find him in the UK. This guy was kind of a pain and he's kind of expensive on eBay. Um, I got lucky and managed to get him for a reasonable price. Wasn't too great, but I, I managed to get him. And I'm glad I've got him because I can add him to the list of last night figures that I've... I'm, I'm probably just going to complete the line, guys. I've got the Dinobots as well on the way. I said I wasn't going to get them, but I've ended up just completing the line because I've been so impressed with the last night toys so far. So, there we go. Sorry I'm rambling, but there is the last night hound. Cheers for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.